by Capital One, another packed house on hand for these old Big East rivals with a lot more on the line in Portland in the Sweet 16. Baylor is awaiting the winner of USC Kansas later on tonight on ESP. It's brought to you by Capital One. Sophie Burroughs, the freshman, gets her first start since mid-November. That's because Elena Rice, who's with the face mask, was out for two weeks, missed the last two games of the Big East Tournament. She is back and came back with a vengeance with that double-double. Because Rice played over 30 minutes. She has grad transfer experience as well. Great start. Today in practice as well as in shoot-around today. But UConn's going to try to pass out of that. Willie knocks it down. A kick out right there, Willie. C-shape go up. Eligible 6 p.m. local time tip-off. Wooly again for three. How about that? Yeah. The screen giving her enough shade and some space to let. Coach Jack was on her saying, hey, we need you, especially without the services of Rice, who averages 10 a game. Locked away. Beckers forces a turnover. Nika Mule, the very talented point guard. Beckers with some flash. Nice and loose on defense, Paige. Beckers just attacked the gap. Along with Wooly, who has the ball in her hands. Fair looking for it, but Wooly pulled up. She is red hot. Up shot by pulling up there right inside the elbow. Good drive by KKR. Edwards gets it. Arnold. Becker somehow was able to. But she's going to keep on shooting. Has a great handle. Was able to get around three to fifth. Boy. But then, Mule does have another year of eligibility, but has decided this will be her last season. Looking against the zone during their practice. Get it into the high post area and work out from there. Actually shade the front. Lost Vergeau right there. If she had been able to handle it, she probably could have scored easily in there. Beckers with a nice feed from Mule. It's outstanding, and she only took six shots in the first half on Saturday, and she scored 11 straight by herself in the fourth. For that, and she knocked down five of 11 against the Tigers. Took a step there. That's a good defensive play by the Stars. We have one here in DeAsia Fair. Shade again. String offensively and defensively connecting the dots. Settle for the shots that UConn is giving them. They need to take their shots. Beckers with the floater. Digits. There. Tough shot to get her first points of the night. Beckers thought about it, then got inside. Tremendous. Bounce pass over to Edwards. Gets it over to Shade. Beckers. First offensive board. You can pick apart the defense and commit it to the basketball. Willie picks up her dribble and then takes a active hands. The three. Nailed. Oh. And she was covered up. This is best in the country. Beckers with the pick. Misha Fair, just two points, one of five shooting, fouled on the perimeter. The game, Wooly, Beckers, everywhere. They got to get Fair going. She only has two points in this game. She's the primary ball handler, but I think they need to get her off of some weak side stagger screens instead to get her a touch. Wolf knocked in her threes as well, but she has just had an all-around solid performance here in the first into the basketball right now that Syracuse is showing. Inside Beckers, turn, shoots, hits. Inside two minutes to go in the half. Shot put it's in by one thing to work on. It's another thing to carry it over and execute. And then on the other side, Syracuse. Mule. Edwards hesitated just for a second and was fouled. For the fourth straight year on ABC with the championship, and we got more games coming tonight. We got Kate on Getting a body on and maintaining contact to disallow those extra possessions. Beckers! 
Jones elevates the Gino. He said go. She does, and she hits it. Hunt steals it. Shade has passed it over to Mule, who puts up the three. And Nika Mule is the just two points, one of five to a great start with some threes. Perimeter it around by Latham. The game. Wolf mm -hmm. kicks it out. out there and three is good shot. She is said in all of our close one. Solid performance here in the first into the, the basketball ring now that Syracuse is in that pitch post on the season. NCAA Men's Basketball Championship Sweet 6 go to NCAA. NCAA. The home for all 90. Com. NCAA Championships. We're rounding out this by Wood to come out. Pardon me, Latham. Fair. There you go. Maybe that's enough to get her going. There has the complete trust of Coach Jack. They have a really great relationship. And then Woolley hits the It's just where you want to be if you're Paige Beckers. And Gino wants her to be there. He's got to put it down. Burrows, the freshman, getting the start. Beckers goes behind her back, floats it over to Shade. Beckers to Edwards, and then Beckers right outside. No shade for Shade. Play in that scrimmage. We were just different. Beckers going to do it all by herself, flips it up over her head. Six players down. She understands the assignment of getting back. And West Virginia follow that with Juju Watkins in USC, Kansas. This is a team that's. Excited for Stanford to be moving on to yet another Sweet 16. And Woolley. Let's see if Syracuse can settle in right here. Use a little of the clock. Or get, or not, the ball. Sure. If you can't see the camera, you're not going to be in the picture. Nobody was in the picture there defensively. What a quick move by Becker. Yesterday, or yesterday, two days ago, in the first round against Jackson State, and here comes D. And with that free throw, DeAsia Fair scores in the history of women's college basketball are playing in the NCAA tournament. Arnold Bay, UConn's not going to get a shot off, or at least not a good one. Shot clock violation. That's Woolley misses wide right. Becker's. Becker's working on Woolley, kicks it out, shade from the corner, got it! it down through the net for a triple. UConn up. Ohio State yesterday. Cam Ward and Christy Uno Scott joining you. Paige Beck knocking. They were knocking down that first half, and they weren't making the same shots. It makes it difficult, confidence-wise, but they've been able to. Leah Edwards right there creeping around the nail. Once she gets it there, she can go to work. Puts it in with her off hand. Another three ball from Sophie. But with the concussion, you saw a little bit of daylight. Then kicks it out to Paige Beckers. Does well. She sizes up the defense and finds viable options in the box light work. And Paige Beckers. But Fair says, I got you right back. On Saturday, she's got to get that. Extension on those jumpers. Fair maybe forcing things a little bit. Held ball. Down for Fair, guarded by Arnold. The fifth year player against the freshman. And now they're trying to blitz a little bit. And we saw that towards the end of that first half. Shade again. That's her spot. It's just been such a phenomenal journey for this program. Edwards able to rid herself of a defender to get a shot off. UConn. Gave it up. Burroughs with the miss. Jack, they have a very close relationship. And then Fair, that's brilliant. She drew another foul. This time it's Arnold. Asia Fair. Asia Fair is the oldest of four kids. And she gets tagged right there on the shot. Not going to come back and use her last year of eligibility. For the fourth straight year, every NC. There gets a couple. Edward tried to get it inside to Edwards. Good defense by Syracuse, but Edwards just tied up there. Arnold gets it over to Edwards on the baseline. She took. St Shade. Ashley Shade has been magnified. 19 tonight. 
Inside three minutes. Fair. Big bucket. Woolley. Burroughs wants it for three. And she nails it. Drop in the bucket. And then Burroughs with yet another three. Sends it back to Woolley. Big three. Rims out. Edwards couldn't hang on. It's Syracuse basketball. Off the inbounds. Beckers, little hesitation and hits. Fair. The foul. On the inbounds right here. All you do is just stay open, get a great shot. One out of two for Fair. Over to Arnold. Got it to roll in. Big Arnold already on their feet, but on this one, all hands in the air. Bully for three. Nope. Edwards slams in for the rebound and a travel call. Bully oh. heaves it. Just off the back rim, and then becoming a lot of anxiety. And Coach Fair, she says, is more like a mom. And she has just been a star work. Ends tonight in stores. UConn will take on Duke in Portland. Gino and Coach Jack, mutual out. And we will see UConn out west to take on Duke. What a fight it was for Syracuse. Down a dozen at one point.